Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this compile time error on resolved reference that is common in Kotlin. There are many reasons that can result to this kind of error, but generally it is usual because the compiler cannot recognize a particular variable, keyword, identifier, or maybe you made a typo. So for example, I have a project here for a simple flashlight application. If you take a look at this conditional statement uh, where we have the Boolean expression, you can see this uh, variable is on, being highlighted in red, and uh, it shows that uh, the compiler cannot resolve you know, the reference. So in order to solve this problem, uh, we have to go to the place where I declared this uh, boolean expression and check where the problem is coming from so as you can see this is where I declare the variable is on so if you uh, take a careful look at this uh, variable is on you see that I I typed uh, zero instead of all so let's change it to all so this is because uh, uh, Kotlin is uh, case sensitive just like Java. So if you make any uh, typing error, it's going to result to an error. So as you can see, the error is no longer there. So we have another uh, error here. The keyword permission cannot be resolved. So um, uh, this is not because I made a typo this time around. It is because I uh, uh, the right class has not been imported so when I was typing these the compiler automatically you know imports the wrong class so in order to solve this problem we have to import the right class so in order to know which of the class is, I mean the import is responsible for this error let's highlight this uh, keyword manifest and go to the import so as you can see uh, the uh, the line 15 in this import the keyword manifest is being highlighted which shows that this is the import that is responsible for the error so we have to import the right class which is android.manifest not java.util package so let's change it to android.manifest So, as you can see, the error is no longer there. So also make sure that you don't make any mistake when uh, writing your code in the activity main.xml file. So make sure there's no typographical error. And uh, also in the android manifest.xml file, make sure you declare your permission properly and also make sure that the, the permission is uh, above the application tag. So guys, this is the end of this video. Please, if you like my video, like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any question, just ask a question in the comment section. I will do my best to answer your question as soon as possible. Bye.